waiting their turn to receive student cards, collecting laptops and other necessary tasks before the academic year kicks off. First-year students from across South Africa and abroad say they are looking forward to embark on the tertiary studies. I've got mixed emotions, obviously, because I'm excited, but I'm also scared to leave home and go, come to such a big city because I'm from East London, you know. Um, but I'm, I'm confident about the future and I'm studying become accounting. I'm kind of nervous, you know, as an international student. I'm not from around, I'm from Zimbabwe. So, yeah, I wrote my ZIMSEC examinations in 2022, then I applied in 2023, then I'm here studying at UCT. You know, it's wonderful feeling that you are at the most pre prestigious university you can be in Africa. I'm hoping to become a lecturer afterwards, so going the academic route. Um, I want to do that just because I love teaching, but I don't want to do it at a high school level, and I feel like I could be really good at being a lecturer, hopefully specialising in finance. I wanted to study economics and to enter the political realm via economics, so once I finish in the humanities faculty, I'll shift over to the BCom faculty. The university says it received nearly 93,000 applications from prospective students for this academic year. We get the sense that our basic education is really alive uh, to the need for STEM uh, subjects to really be strengthened. Uh, we have some very um, encouraging results uh, from you know, schools that otherwise people don't expect to have top learners uh, coming from and uh, we really celebrate that um, and we also are grateful that you know you have young people who are going into teaching and uh, are excited about about teaching the sciences with the faculty of health sciences receiving nearly 20,000 applications mm -hmm. We often forget that Health Sciences doesn't only offer uh, MBCHB, uh, there are also other Health Sciences uh, professions that are very fulfilling um, in the health and rehabilitation uh, uh, field. We fields we have um, physiotherapy, we have speech therapy, we have audiology, we have occupational therapy. So there's plenty uh, of programs that students can choose from. Orientation is set to get underway next week, with the university ready to commence teaching and learning on the 12th of February. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.